All right, EOTech out at Sheep Hitters at Oregon Rifle Works in, uh, in Oregon. So, showing off some of the new items for EOTech 2022. We're going to start with the HWS line. So, one of the newest things that we have for the HWS is going to be the OD Green XPS2. It's going to be full Cerakote finish. It is the non night vision model uh, and it is the co witness height. Uh, it's just a great accessory if you already have a HWS and you want to go to the OD Green, you don't want to have to have someone else painted aftermarket, that's an option for you. Also in the HWS line, we have our magnifiers. So we have the original G33, and then we also have our G45. These are great options. If you're looking for a little magnification, be paired in line with your HWS. The nice thing about the 5 power itself is that it's not too much larger in size when compared to the G33. A little bit heavier, but if you can manage the weight, you'll enjoy the increased magnification. For the Voodoo line, the, the newest line that we have is gonna be the one to 10. The one to 10 is about 20 ounces in uh, weight. It's gonna have a top locking turret for the elevation. It's gonna be captured windage on the knob on the side. The Voodoo standard illuminator uh, brightness settings is going to be power on the top and then plus minus for the increased brightness or decreased battery pack on the side. Also in the Voodoos, you're going to have a throw lever included with all of these. And this one here, like I said, is a, the new 1 to 10 and the 34 millimeter tube and its first focal plane. It's a great option if you're looking to get in the LPVO, even if you have a 1 to 6 or 1 to 8 already, uh, it's a great option to increase that magnification. Finally, for 2022, we got our night vision line. Um, this is going to be in your dealers if they're already not getting most of it. Uh, we have things from thermals, clip-on devices, also night vision clip-on, and we have two sets of binos and a monocular option. So in both of the clip-on for the thermal option or the night vision, you have two different options and it's based on your daytime magnification. So if you're in the lower ranges, we we'll just use a, a generality of 10 or less. You're going to be in these front smaller units, and then when you're over that for magnification, uh, you're going to be running these LR model designations. Both awesome. They're both rated uh, for 50 cal. Uh, so if you're running those big bores and you're doing some real hardcore long range stuff, this is definitely a good option for you. In the helmet mounted solutions, we have two sets of binos. These ones here are the Bino NVs. These are going to be Elbit tubes, uh, 2376 minimum FOM. We're gonna have diopter focus, also focus up front. We have an illuminator on board, a cable port for a battery pack. These are gonna be a PVS-14 style on, uh, and it's gonna be a auto gain feature. Pupillary adjustments, one of the coolest features on our Bino sets is gonna be that the battery itself, it can be nipple out or nipple in, it doesn't matter. So omnidirectional. When you articulate these up, they will turn off and then when you rock them back into position, they'll come on. Uh, when you look at the Bino NV versus the compact version, which is the Bino NV C, you'll notice that the size difference of these is pretty significant. Also in weight, where you're at about 19 ounces, you're a little more than half of that at this. So much smaller diameter of tubes, these are gonna be photonis. And the biggest difference between those features I just artic uh, articulated is gonna be, it's a manual gain, but you still have an onboard illuminator, cable port here for a battery pack, articulation, shuts off when you rotate them up, and the omnidirectional battery port. And then uh, both of those units will ship with a G24 Wilcox mount, and moving on to the monocular option. This comes with the J-arm, which is a nice feature. Um, it's included in the unit, so it can go, the J-arm has a feature where you end in, in and it will rotate from left to right eye. Uh, again, 2376 minimum FOM, Elbit tubes. It's very consistent with what you would find with the uh, other monoculars in the market. Uh, last thing I don't have would be our pistol optic. Got to keep your eyes out for it. It's going to be a delta point footprint. It's going to be uh, 3 MOA or 6 MOA, and it's got a big window, all aluminum housing. I think you'll really enjoy that. So that's it for 2022 Sheep Hitters event. We'll see you around. If you like this video and want to support us, please check out the Millspec Monkey Store. Although known for morale patches, we also specialize in a good selection of DIY hardware and tactical accessories.